G'day folks, today we're going to show you the steps to laying turf in your own backyard. The equipment we're using to help make the project easy, we've got a rotary hoe to help uh, prepare the soil in the first place. We're going to use a uh, mini loader to help ferry around the, the top soil. We've also got a, a roller to help uh, finish off with the turf and an easy level rake. All the equipment you see here is available at your local Canards Hire branch. Before getting into the real nitty gritty of the project, make sure you first measure out the uh, area to calculate how many square metres of turf you're going to need. Measuring for your new lawn is simple. If you have a square or rectangle area, you multiply the length by the width. For our project, we have broken up the area into two rectangles. When ordering your turf, chat to your turf supplier or your local garden centre about your local soil conditions. They'll be able to advise you of any additives required. So in some cases, you might actually have to uh, remove the top layer of soil. You can either do that with a, a mini loader, or if the area is large enough, you can do it with a, a skid steer, uh, commonly known as a bobcat. For this particular yard, we were lucky enough, uh, the soil here is uh, good enough. All we had to do was uh, kill off the existing grass with a uh, good weed killer or a herbicide. And uh, you need to make sure you do that two weeks before uh, the next step. So uh, obviously the, the weed killer has taken full effect and is no longer active in the soil. Next step is to turn the soil over. Today we're using a, a rotary hoe. Uh, Canards High also has available a smaller rotary tiller. So if your particular area is um, smaller or and the soil is already softer, you can use that smaller rotary tiller. We've got a bit more soil to turn over. So we're actually gonna take advantage of the uh, bit of extra grunt from the rotary hoe and uh, get it underway. A handy tip, before you loosen the soil, you could actually give the area a nice big soaking a couple of days beforehand, just to help uh, soften up the soil before you work it. Just uh, check over your work area, make sure you remove any uh, large rocks, sticks or debris, and be mindful of any uh, underground pipe work or electrical cables. We're just going to give the work area a good uh, hosing down just to uh, help control the dust uh, in our work area. Obviously trying to be good neighbours. Let's fire it up and get into it. Start by making parallel passes, working your way across the area. If your area is on a bit of a slope, start at the high side and work your way down. You may require a second pass over the whole area to get to your required depth. So with the mini loader today, we're using the four in one bucket, but don't forget, we've got a number of attachments uh, suitable to uh, work with this machine. It includes a trencher, post hole digger, and a rotary hoe, as well as a couple of others. But uh, as mentioned, today we're using the four in one bucket. Well, we've just finished uh, leveling out our base area. We've used the mini loader to uh, cut off some high spots, fill some low spots. We've also used a little bit of topsoil to help fill a few more of the low spots. So we're just gonna run over that uh, with an easy level rake. Canons High branches have uh, two different styles. If you've got a smaller area, just a quite easy handheld one here. Or we've got a larger uh, wheel-based version, as you can see, bigger rakes, bigger area, nice and smooth. You might not need a mini loader for your job, but uh, for this particular project, we're actually using it to uh, help level off the area. We've used some topsoil to uh, level off some low spots, and we're about to spread out the underlay over the whole area. Start by scooping up the turf underlay and evenly spreading it out over your surface area. As you release each bucket full, you can reverse with the bucket hovering just over the soil to help level out any bumps. We've just finished spreading out our turf underlay with the mini loader. We've just used a regular hand rake to uh, roughly uh, spread, spread it out a little bit. We're about to use the easy level rake to finish off the job. We've leveled out our turf underlay. Next step, we're actually going to run the roller over it just to help remove any air pockets and make sure everything's level. So the lawn rollers come empty just to help uh, with weight and for transportation. But once you get it to your place, just undo the screw and fill her up with water. That'll help give us some extra weight so we can get it all nice and smooth. So a handy tip, we're about to run over our turf underlay with a roller. As you can see, that will help clearly show up any low spots and high spots. You can run over again with the easy level rake and then you can do a second run over with the roller. Just remember, when using the equipment, Canards Hire recommends the use of safety products at all times. Be sure to use the personal protective clothing and equipment for each product hired, which are available at every branch. 